Hi everyone, this is Mark Rep, and thanks for joining me for another tech tip today. Now how to create a new Google Drive assignment. It's very similar to the way that you did it in Google Classroom. Just click on the Add Materials drop-down menu again, and this time choose Add Assignment. Give the assignment a name. Here you can give it a description. And again, if you use the Insert Content drop-down menu, you can insert images, documents, YouTube video, equations, symbols, and hyperlinks. All of them can be used to help clarify and explain the description of your assignment. There's even a microphone down here where you can record both audio and audio and video directions. It's a great feature for teachers who want to make sure that every student understands the directions of every assignment. Now to assign from Google Drive Assignments, just simply click on the Google Drive Assignments button. If you have any trouble connecting to your Google account, just click Options and click Account Settings and log in once again. Then scroll down and select the assignment that you'd like to give out to students. I'll select it and then I'll click Attach. The assignment is now attached and will be available to be seen by students within my course. I'll give it a due date and I'll assign it a certain number of points. I'll give this one 10 points. I'll give it a category, select a grading period, choose whether or not you want it synced to Skyward or your SIS, and choose whether you want it published to students so that they can see it in your Schoology course. Now one of the best things about Google Drive assignments, and especially for teachers who are used to using Google Classroom, this will look rather familiar. Notice it says this will create a copy of your file for each student. So if you want to work from a template and have every student get a copy of the document and each student can turn it in separately for grading, this is definitely what you'll want to use. So I'll click Create and the assignment is created. It's added to the bottom of my Schoology course and if I want to I can drag it all the way to the top and drop it. Students will be able to click on this now. They will see Assignment, and then they can click on the document. As the teacher, I can click on this assignment, where it will open up in an Assignments window, and I can click In Progress to see how students are doing. All their names will appear here. And as I click on each individual student's name, you will see their work over here at the right. If I click on Submissions, you will see Submissions here in this section. In the Assignment window, it will look something like this. The names of the students will appear here at the right, and whether or not it needs grading. You'll see how many received out of the total number of students, along with the due date. Then when you go back to your Schoology course, under Reminders at the right, you will see the total number of ungraded assignment submissions. And under that, you'll see Upcoming and which assignments are coming up on the next date. Again, if I want to return to my course, I'll go to the breadcrumb trail and click on my course name. Since I gave the Google Drive assignment example a due date of September 1st, you'll see that it shows up under my Upcoming section. So that's a look at how you can use Google Drive assignments. Please join me again for another tech tip. Bye for now.